Breakfast at Tiffany's is a classic film produced in 1961, directed by Blake Edwards and starring Audrey Hepburn. The film is based on Truman Capote's novel of the same name and tells the fascinating and mysterious life of Holly Golightly, a beautiful woman living in New York City. The movie created a fashion and music icon and is still considered a cinematic classic. Audrey Hepburn, born in 1929 in Brussels, Belgium, portrayed the character Holly Golightly in the film, a charming, free-spirited woman with many desires who lives in New York and has a habit of having breakfast outside the famous Tiffany & Company jewelry store. Audrey Hepburn is one of the most famous actresses of all time and an Oscar winner. She had an incredibly successful film career and was also known as a beauty and fashion icon. She passed away in 1993 at the age of 64 due to appendix cancer. George Peppard, born in 1928 in Detroit, Michigan, USA, played the role of Paul Varjak in the film Breakfast at Tiffany's. In the movie, he portrayed a young writer living near Holly Golightly, Audrey Hepburn, and eventually falling in love with her. George Peppard was a versatile and famous actor who also appeared in many other well-known films, such as The A-Team. He passed away in 1994 at the age of 65. Patricia Neal, born in 1926 in Packard, Kentucky, USA, played the role of Emily Eustace Phalanson in the film. She portrayed a wealthy and alluring woman who frequently interacted with Holly Golightly. Patricia Neal was an outstanding actress with a diverse filmography, including works such as The Breaking Point, Operation Pacific, The Day the Earth Stood Still, and many other achievements. She won an Oscar for Best Actress for her role in HUD, 1963. She passed away in 2010 from lung cancer at the age of 84. Buddy Ebsen Born in 1908 in Belleville, Illinois, portrayed the character Doc Golightly, the brother of the main character Paul Varjak, in the film. Besides that role, he was also a famous actor with numerous roles in his career. Buddy Ebsen was best known for his portrayal of Jed Clampett in the TV series, The Beverly Hillbillies, 1962-1971, and the character Barnaby Jones in the series, Barnaby Jones, 1973 to 1980. He passed away in 2003 at the age of 95. Martin Balsam was born on November 4, 1919, in the Bronx, New York, USA. He portrayed the character O.J. Berman, a film producer, in the film. Martin Balsam had a diverse and notable acting career in various films and television works. He appeared in many famous films and won an Oscar for Best Supporting Actor for his role in A Thousand Clowns, 1965. Martin Balsam passed away on February 13, 1996, at the age of 76. José Luis de Villalonga was born on January 29, 1920, in Madrid, Spain. He portrayed the character José de Silva Pereira, a Brazilian billionaire, in the film. José Luis de Villalonga had a diverse career in the fields of film and was also a writer and diplomat. 
He appeared in various films and television programs and wrote several novels and memoirs. José Luis de Villalonga passed away on August 30, 2007, at the age of 87. John McGiver was born on November 5, 1913, in New York City, USA. He portrayed the character Tiffany's salesman, a salesperson at Tiffany's store, in the film. John McGiver had a diverse career in the film and television industry. He often played supporting roles and appeared in many popular films and television shows. He passed away on September 9, 1975, at the age of 61. Alan Reed was born on August 20, 1907, in New York City, USA. He portrayed the character Sally Tomato, a wealthy gangster, in the film. In addition to his role in this famous movie, Alan Reed had a diverse career in acting and was the voice of Fred Flintstone in the animated series, The Flintstones. He passed away on June 14, 1977, at the age of 69. Dorothy Whitney was born on October 31, 1933, in New York. She is best known for her role as Mag Wildwood, one of the supporting characters in the film. Dorothy Whitney also had a diverse career in acting and appeared in several other film and television productions, notable among them being the film, O. Oh. Rosalinda. 1955, she passed away on January 25 in Reno, Nevada at a relatively young age, at the age of 44. Beverly Powers was born on August 7, 1939, in Los Angeles, California, USA. She is an actress, best known for her role as a beautiful and alluring showgirl in the film. Although her appearance in the film was relatively brief, it made a memorable impact and became an iconic moment in her career. In addition to her role in Breakfast at Tiffany's, Beverly also appeared in other film projects such as Speedway, 1968, and The Comedy of Terrors, 1963. As of now, she is 84 years old. Stanley Adams was born on April 7, 1915, in New York. Adams had a long-lasting career as a character actor, often playing humorous and flamboyant roles. In the film Breakfast at Tiffany's, he portrayed the character Rusty Trawler. Additionally, he is known for his role in the film Lily of the Field, 1963. On television, he gained recognition for his guest appearance in the Star Trek episode titled The Trouble with Tribbles. Tragically, Adams took his own life on April 27, 1977, at the age of 62. He was reported to have been suffering from chronic back pain, which led to depression. Have you ever watched this all-time classic film before? Which character left the biggest impression on you? Please let us know in the comments. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel. Wishing you all a wonderful day.